some time to talk about the importance of diagnosing breast cancer early. And this morning we have Dr. Brad Baltz in here to explain. There's a lot of confusion right now, doctor, about exactly what the guidelines are, when we're supposed to have mammograms, and how often. What are you advising patients? Well, we're still advising the more traditional guidelines. Uh, the one thing that's been proven to save lives is a mammogram. I just saw a new lady this week who was 70 years old, had the first mammogram in 10 years. They diagnosed an early breast cancer with an excellent cure rate. And she had gone for that mammogram because her sister had talked her into it. So she we was know very grateful. Yeah. So are you saying for most women then age 40 every year? Absolutely. Now we have to talk about, of course, the new guidelines that came out what last year, the ones that confused people that said maybe not necessary, maybe start them later and not every year. And this was to perhaps save women from undergoing unnecessary biopsies, the stress of having a false positive. Have right. you seen kind of that emotional impact if maybe it doesn't end up being cancer and someone being weighted down by all those emotions having to go through that? Actually, it's just the opposite. Most women feel a great sense of relief when the biopsy's negative, and they're really more concerned about their health. Yeah, they don't regret going through no, it to get absolutely. there. No, absolutely. So that's uh, really interesting. It's very confidence-inspiring to know that everything's good. So we're worried about saving lives, not saving money, and it's the most important thing you can do to prevent a death from breast cancer. And let's talk about the treatments and outcomes because we know there's been so much progress in recent mm -hmm. years. Um, is it good news for patients right now? Absolutely. Uh, we've had several breakthroughs and the decrease of the use of hormone therapy has actually started to show a decrease in the incidence of breast cancer. So with early detection and decreased incidence, we're actually seeing real survival benefit. I know, and, and we hear, you know, people talk about all the time that yes, um, awareness is great, but the money in science right now is doing a whole lot. The money that Absolutely. we're raising for research with Race for the Cure and things like that, I mean, it's mm -hmm. really making a difference. So, that's Well, exciting. the greatest thing is gene array, and it's saving women from chemo. Wow. So if your gene array predicts a good prognosis, then you don't have to take chemo based upon the new science. That is fabulous news. Well, Dr. Baltz, we thank you so much for being here and explaining the guidelines. Mammogram starting at 40, right? Absolutely. Every year. Okay, thanks so much. Time now for Weather on the Forest. Here's Greg D.